Good morning. Today we will explore the new Global and LAC Data Hub at the Georgetown Americas Institute. Here you can view content and use the tools from the database and all the implementations that allow integration with the Applicast platform. The Global and LAC Data Hub is a massive repository that consolidates information from hundreds of sources on topics like geopolitics, trade, production, external accounts, public finances, unit data, and much more. This project was coordinated by Alejandra Werner, founding director of the Georgetown Americas Institute, and it is an excellent effort in data compilation and curation. I will guide you through it so that you can see how it works and what you will find. First, you will find the methodology for everything in the database. You can see where the information comes from, its sources, how it was added, and how the metrics were calculated. Here you will also see a very detailed breakdown of each data set. For each data source, you will find a link to its original source, which will take you to the relevant variable and also to the data set within AlphaCast, where you can explore the data, upload information, and even transfer it, for example, to Python or Excel. The information is organized and presented in dashboards. These dashboards are presented at both the country level and the group level. What you will find here is the ability to navigate through various dashboards. I invite you to explore them. They are all graphic and interactive dashboards with filters where you can browse the tabs and view each variable and its dynamics over time. There are tables and graphs and everything is calculated in real time. What is interesting is that you can reverse engineer each graph to understand not only what the variable contains, but also how it is calculated. In a few minutes, we'll get to that. The information is not only presented at the country level, but also at the country group level. So here you will see information, for example, if you click here, you will see five delegations, two from the IMF, one from the OECD, and one from the World Bank. What these filters allow is for you to look at the same information but grouped in different ways. It gives you great flexibility in terms of the analysis that can be done, and the platform will allow you to explore how these groupings are made, the aggregation criteria, which countries make up each group, etc. Finally, if you're interested in accessing the data, you need to go here and click on datasets. Here in Datasets, you will access the information presented on the AlphaCast platform. To enter AlphaCast and download the data, you must create an account. It's free, the process is quick, and it will allow you to access the data sources and do many other things. Now let's explore what some of those things are. You will see the information is in a repository, a sort of folder that contains all the information for this large project, and you will see that there are several data sets. A data set is basically a compilation equivalent to a spreadsheet with rows and columns. It allows you to navigate its qualities, filter the information, and especially in case you're interested, you can also archive the information. You can download it in CSV or Excel. If you're interested, we can create a tutorial to show you how to connect to Excel, and then from Excel, you can simply refresh and the information will stay updated. Something interesting about AlphaCast is that it allows you not only to download the information, but also to construct and process data within the platform. So I'll show you an exercise. The way to do this is linked to this button that says transform data. For that, we'll use this data set. In AlphaCast, you'll find a large number of data sets and the information sources for everything that makes up the global and LAC data hub database. Specifically here, for example, we have a data set for Argentina, which contains not just inflation, but all its related components. So we can do a very simple exercise where we take the goods and the general level and what AlphaCast allows is not just to keep this information, but to transform it. If I click transform data, a menu will appear where you can choose a lot of options, such as looking at other data sources, changing the frequency, making seasonal adjustments, and many other options. 
I will focus on the option to transform the information with AI. When you click on it, this is the space where the information is transformed and transformations are defined. I'll write in English, calculate the ratio between the goods and the general price index. It's a very simple exercise. What you will see now is a dialogue with the AI where I'll ask it to analyze the information and finally it will create a code, test it, and that code will appear. From now on, whenever the original information is updated, this process will run and the exercise will be done. In this case, it's easy to transform this information. Once the process is defined, you can see that the calculation was quickly done as I asked. For example, you can ask it to construct a chart and you begin the process of building this chart. I won't go into too many details about how the charts are made, but there's an end sheet that allows you to make maps, tables, and a lot of customizations, changing the aesthetics of the graph very simply. Once the graph is built, if you click on the chart, you can start the process of creating your own dashboard. Here, you can not only construct and transform data, but also build visualizations. So what I'm going to do here is place this graph, this other graph here, and let's find a third one, for example, this one here. What is interesting is when I save it, notice how everything automatically adopts a common color palette. Now, every time I add something, it will use this palette. This happens with any chart or graphic you find on the platform. Finally, I want to show you this option to explore the tool with AI, where I can, for example, tell it in English, please show me the car exports of Mexico. What it will do now is search both the AlphaCast database and many other available databases here. And for example, here we'll say, please use the first data set and we can see the car exports of Mexico. I invite you to further explore the platform and the database. You will find a lot of information and the entire guide team and those of us working on this project are at your disposal to assist you with anything you need. Thank you very much.